Hello YouTube and welcome to your 16th Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial, you won't be really learning much code, but I'm going to teach you some things about your IDE and about C++ that you should know. And um, you probably already know what it is. You've probably encountered it before. I can almost guarantee that, but you may not know what it's called. So if you haven't noticed by the title already, I'm going to be talking about syntax errors and logic errors. So the syntax error is pretty easy to catch and easy to uh, fix. So if I do if and then maybe add a different character in there, um, int x is greater than 5 or here. Hold on a second there. Let's go ahead and declare that outside. So int x equals 7. So if x is greater than 5, and we're going to go ahead and see out x. And now, let's come up here and try to compile this. Go ahead and run it. You can see it's running. And here we go. It says, there were build errors. Would you like to continue and run the last successful build? Now, when you get this, um, that means there is a syntax error. So you're just going to go ahead you can either click yes or no, whatever you want. And then when you come down here in C++, you're going to see this right here, your output. And this is going to help you a lot. You can It shows you the build. It shows you the build started. It'll show you the file that's running. And then it'll tell you the line. So it'll tell you where that project is located. And it'll tell you the line that the error is on. And it'll say syntax error missing. Um semicolon before that and now this may or may not be right depending on what you did this is wrong in my case because I have added an extra E and if but the IDE does its best to try to find your errors and then it says if identifier not found which is correct and uh, I forget how to do it off the top of my head but you can go into your Visual C++ 2010 and go to settings Let's go to expert settings here. Okay, hold on. We'll go to uh -huh, options. Here we go. You go to options, go down to your test editor, text editor, not see not test, and then you're gonna click display line numbers. And then go ahead and click OK and you will see that it starts showing your line numbers. Now let's come up here and change that back to basic settings. I don't know why I did that, but you can see here where it showed the line that we had the error on. If we come up here, and of course it's not working. Let's do that again. I changed the settings back so it, it got rid of it. But um, you can see the line numbers. It shows line 10 there's an error, syntax error, missing semicolon before bracket um, and now that's not really right because um, as I said the ID does its best but it can't always find exactly what's going wrong and this one right here is right called if and now if we just come back come up here and take out that it should run you can see it prints X which is 7 so that's pretty much what a syntax error is. Now the other kind of error that you're going to run into that's really going to make you mad later on when you're programming is called a logic error. Now a logic error, what that means is that your program runs and it compiles and it starts working perfectly fine, but it the calculation is wrong or something and you have to go back through your code and find out where that is. So let's say... Um, We'll do this. We'll do if x equals 5, we'll see out x. And so let's go ahead and change x equal to 5. And if we go ahead and run this, you can see that it works. Um, oh, of course. <sighs> my video is finished rendering my earlier tutorial. But you can see it go ahead, it'll go ahead and print out 5. Now, if we come up here, and we change this from equals equals to equals 5, we're going to get a logic error, 
or we should, we may or may not. Um, you've seen this in my earlier tutorials. I get logic errors and then I have to fix them. So yeah, it works fine there because it assigns x equal to 5 in the um, if statement. It says if and then it assigns x equal to 5 and it'll see out x. So um, let's go ahead and try something else. We'll do, let's see, we'll do double divide with the int num1 or int x and int y. And now we'll just come up here and create double divide int x int y. Okay, so now if we come down here, we'll do return x times y. And we'll go ahead and get rid of all of this. And we'll see out divide. We'll divide 10 by 5. Now you know the answer should be 2. But when we run this program, it's going to give us 50. And now that's a logical error to where you think everything's running right. But in the end, you find out that something went wrong, but it'll still run fine. And those will really get on your nerves, and um, there you'll always run into them. So just try to find out the best way to deal with them. There isn't really a method I can tell you to deal with them. You just have to go through your code and find it. And um, one more thing that I'm going to talk about, but I'm not going to make any make any code for, is a runtime error. Now there are the syntax errors, which is pretty much a compile time error. So when the program tries to compile your program that you made. It's going to say, we don't know what this is and we can't compile it. But a runtime error is once you're making bigger programs, you start up the program. It's similar to a logic error, but um, you start up the program, everything runs fine, and then you try an action, and then the program just crashes. And that's called a runtime error. Those are a little bit easier to deal with because you can look at the error, uh, the error, the, the, um, What's it called? Uh, you, I'll just call it the error report. You can just look at the error report down here in your output, and you can usually find out where that problem is. It's easy to fix, like a syntax pro syntax error. So um, this is just a tutorial to let you guys know the kind of errors that you're going to have to deal with, so you'll be ready for those. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.